Hi everyone, this is my first YouTube video ever and today I'm going to show you how to do a natural everyday makeup routine. This is the one that I use every day and follow along and if you like it you can subscribe and do all that other stuff that people talk about when they say subscribe. So let's get started. Okay, so first I'm going to start by applying my Smashbox Camera Ready CC Cream all over my face. I cannot even begin to describe how in love I am with this product. It's wonderful. It covers up the little bit of rosacea I have on my cheeks, kind of evens out the skin tone. It's a primer. It's a moisturizer. I think it even has SPF in it. I'm not sure. I'll have to look. After I apply the CC cream, I take the Bobbi Brown Corrector in Peach and I put this under my eyes. My eyes are really kind of dark and stormy today because I didn't sleep well last night, but normally they're not this um, baggy looking. Anyway, so I just put this under my eyes and it blends really well. It's really creamy and smooth. Um, I love this Bobbi Brown Corrector so much. I actually use it as a concealer as well, so I'll put this around the corners of my nose where I often get some redness. I've got a blemish I need to cover up, and I'm pretty happy with this as both a concealer and an under eye corrector. So I just kind of put that around where I think it needs to go, and it pretty much serves its purpose. Next I'm applying the Laura Mercier Loose Setting Powder. This is great for days when I don't really feel like wearing foundation, but I want to take away some of the shine. I just put it over that CC cream that I put on already and then put this on top of it and I feel like it gives a really natural finish. Now I'm applying my favorite blush of all time. It's the NARS blush in Orgasm. Ooh, dirty word. Anyway, it is the best blush I've ever used. It's got a really nice flushed color, like you've just gone outside for, you know, a quick run to the mailbox and then come back in. So it gives you a really nice, natural, rosy glow. I love it. Now we're moving on to eyes. I'm applying just a few dots of Benefit Stay Don't Stray Eye Primer on my lids. This primer has been um, really great for me. I put it on, just kind of rub it in, and I feel like it is, it goes on kind of like a cream, but then dries to kind of a matte powdery finish, so it doesn't really look like you have anything on your eyes. You know, some primers can be colored, but this one just gives you a really natural base to start with, so I've been really happy with this. first eyeshadow I'm using is Stila Eyeshadow in Kitten. This is one of my favorite eyeshadows currently. Um, it has just a little bit of shimmer on it, and it is great if you're going to be putting other colors on top of it, or if you're going to be lining the crease, or you know, going for a natural look or a dramatic look. It can work in a lot of different circumstances. Today I'm just putting it over both of my lids and then we'll move on to another color. There we go, tighten that up. Now I'm using one of my favorite palettes. It's a little bit old. I don't even want to tell you how old it is, but I love it so much. I kind of use it sparingly. I'm using the copper color and I'm just going to put this in the crease of my eyes to kind of make them look bigger and I'm in no way a professional at doing this, which you will probably figure out very soon. But I'm just kind of lining the outer edge, or rather brushing the outer edge of my eye with the brush and then brushing it through the crease. So I'll do this on both sides just to give it a little bit of depth. each one and kind of fill in the creases like I said before and then just make sure to blend it. I actually see now that my right eye is not nearly as blended as it probably should be but oh well first video probably gonna make a few mistakes and that's one of them. So. This 
this next color I'm applying just under my eyebrow on the brow bone is Vanilla, and it's actually from the same palette that I used previously. As you can see, I just put it on the brow bone to brighten the eye, and it works really great. This next product is also one of my favorite makeup products in the entire world. It's the TG Perfect Eyeliner in brown. Actually in any color, they're all amazing, but the Perfect Eyeliner is fantastic. It goes on really creamy, so you don't have to use that much. As you can see, I'm only really lying, lining um, to the middle-ish part of my eye. I'm kind of doing about two-thirds of my eye. Um, like I said, it's really creamy, so I just like to do part of the eye and then Later, you'll see I'll go over it again with a little smudging stick that is on the other end of the eyeliner. So you have eyeliner on one end of the pencil, and then on the other end you have a sponge for smudging action. So I'm going to do a little bit of the smudging action, and then so this way you save liner and it really creates a soft look. I prefer a soft look when I'm trying to go more natural rather than like a hard line you might get from a liquid pen or a gel even. mascara I'm going to be using is Maybelline The Falsies Flared Volume Express and this mascara has gotten really popular in the beauty blogger world and for pretty good reason. It kind of has the look and feel of a more expensive mascara. Um, it really elongates the lashes, it thickens them, there's nothing clumpy about it which I love. I'm not a fan of the clump, some people are. I recently learned, find that kind of strange, but um, I find it really gives a lot of volume to your lashes, and I still think it's good for an everyday, natural look. For this natural look, I'm going to be using the Too Faced Lip Liner in Perfect Spice, and I have to say it is pretty perfect. For a natural, everyday kind of look, I wanted to go with a color that was kind of rosy, kind of nude at the same time, and this is just that. So Perfect Spice is pretty perfect. Um, I'm lining my lips just along the natural line of my lips. I'm not making them any fuller than they naturally are. There we go, back in the shot. Good girl. So as you can see, I'm just going around the natural line of my lips with this liner. For lip color, I'm applying Smashbox Lipstick in Primrose. This is really great for a natural, everyday makeup routine because it's kind of a cross between a nude and a pink lipstick. I wanted to find something that was as close to my natural lip color as possible, but still give it a little bit of oomph so it looked like I was wearing, you know, something. Um, and this really hit the spot. It's kind of a dusty rose color. It's super creamy, a little bit of shine, and I think it's great for this kind of look. Lastly, I'm just applying one last layer of the Laura Mercier Loose Setting Powder just to kind of seal everything in. And this is the final look. Natural, everyday makeup. So thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed my flawless natural makeup routine. Um, subscribe and follow along.